What's up guys, full-time filmmaker here and we are here in St. George on another mission from Hyundai to review their brand new 2021 Hyundai Elantra. Hyundai gave us a week with this beautiful brand new car to take it for a spin and see what it can do. But to make things a little bit more interesting, we wanted to throw our own spin on it. So behind us, we have three boxes with three different cameras. We have a $30,000 red cinema camera, the $4,000 Canon EOS R5, and the all new $1,400 iPhone 12 Pro Max. So we're about to choose a box at random and whatever camera is under that box is the camera that we are gonna be using this entire week to shoot our content. This week, the competition is to create two videos videos highlighting the Elantra and all its features. One being a fun influencer-like post and the other being a sexy cinematic preview of the Elantra in its natural element. And at the end of the week, we're gonna edit our two videos and send them off to Parker, who will judge them based on the content that we created with our respective cameras. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> mm. I had a feeling. I had a feeling it was on this one. I just used this too. Yeah, my job is going to be a lot easier than both of yours. <laughs> well, right. no gimbals either, right? Ready, here we go. All right guys, first impressions with this vehicle, it is minimal, it is sexy. Two very important things to me are safety and connectivity. And this new Hyundai Elantra does not disappoint. This car features Apple CarPlay, has a ton of safety features that come standard with the vehicle. It also features a wireless charging pad for your phone. So when you get in the car, you can just set your phone down and it's charging and connected to CarPlay. This is a super nice feature to me and definitely a feature I need in my next car. All right guys, first things first about this car is the interior is sexy. Probably my favorite thing about the interior is the dash. It's just so, it's so slick. It's like a cockpit. You feel like you're driving like a private jet. Everything is designed to kind of face the driver, to kind of make them feel like they're in control of the entire vehicle. However, on the iPhone, one of the things I'm really annoyed by is I can't control the shutter speed. But so far, it's the only downside because the rest of the shots are turning out dope. Here we go. So I'm shooting on the RED. RED's a great camera from lots of situations, but it's not the most practical. Right now I have the 85 millimeter lens on the RED, and I'm doing that because there's a lot of cool design elements on the exterior of the Elantra. For example, the curves right here on the body, just super sharp, very nice looking. Also the grill is probably one of the best grills I've ever seen on a car. Really good looking. And probably my favorite part are the taillights at night it's just this really long led strip so really loving that like i said the red is working out great it's a great camera there's a lot of shots that you can't get on a red especially when you're going handheld that the other two can get like those really tight slow moving detail shots so i'm kind of accommodating for that and the footage is turning out awesome so i'm excited to show you guys let's go And that's a wrap. Well done, fellas. Taking on that Hyundai project on your own. These guys are extremely talented. Super proud of them. But it is now up to me to judge their videos and let you know which ones I think are best at two categories. Number one, they each made a video showing how well they could integrate the Hyundai product into an influencer post on social media. And the second category and second video they made is just a straight up cinematic video to show off the Hyundai Elantra in the best way possible. So without further ado, let's dive in, judge the videos, and let let you know which ones I like the best. Let's go. Better, of a more excellent or effective type or quality. Sunsets are great, 
watching sunsets with your people is better. Breakfast is fine, but fresh glazed donuts are better. But making something better doesn't always mean just adding more people or more toppings to it. Better can be less. Having less and appreciating and focusing on what you do have is better. Going fast is great. I love going fast. But slowing down and breathing in life's every passing second is better. Working hard is great, but doing what you love for work is better. Hyundai, unlock better. Unlock better. All right, FYI, that is the hashtag that Hyundai is wanting them to use. So great integration by Jake using the hashtag and utilizing that phrase to encompass an entire voiceover that he scripted himself. Now, I will say, I personally thought the voiceover was a little bit cheesy for me. Some of the lines stuck and I really liked them. Other lines, like, I like going fast. I was like, eh, a little cheesy for me. So I like the courage that Jake went of doing a voiceover, creating a script, trying to storyboard an entire, you know, idea of what he wanted to do throughout the whole video. But it was a little lacking for me. Some of it was a stretch, like the donuts. But there was a lot of awesome shots of the car I really appreciated. Some beautiful scenery mixed in. The iPhone to me, though, was a bit lacking. I am watching it on a 6K display, nice and big 32-inch display here, where I can really see all these issues with the iPhone 12, and you can really see how it is hard to shoot professional work with an iPhone because there is so many limitations. Everything's a little bit over sharpened, but with the tool that Jake had, I thought he did an awesome job in trying to get around some of those limitations of the iPhone. So he had the hardest job of shooting on the iPhone. So with what he had, I thought he did a good job. Let's move on now to Nate, who was on the R5. <laughs> Awesome job integrating the car into real world practical situations in which you'd be hiking around taking pictures. All right. All right, first of all, Nate's only been on the team for a few months and he's just blowing me away with the content he's creating. Can we just give a quick shout out to Nate? Awesome job producing the content he's producing. He looks like a professional. And some of these shots, man, these look like legit shots that Hyundai would want in one of their commercials. Now, the thing I like best about Nate's video. Again, this is his influencer integration. So he's trying to show the product as you would use it in a real world situation as it applies to him and his occupation, which is filmmaking photography. So he's showing himself driving around, running around and using the car to get to all these sweet locations. So personally, I thought he did an amazing job at naturally and organically integrating a car into his occupation and making it feel like it's not forced, like a, you know, check out this cool car. It's more of I'm in a cool car doing things that I would already be doing anyway. So the only thing that was lacking for me was the sound design. That's one of Nate's weaker points in his game right now. Mostly the car. We want to hear that car sound. But the visuals, spot on. Great job, Nate. Let's move on now to Landon. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. You want to know my secret to eating smooth shots? Come here. Let's start out with some simple moves. The king of pop. The calf stretch. The loosey goosey. The tiptoe. And my personal favorite, the runner. These five moves and many more can be found inside my full course Gimbal Skater Pro, where I teach you everything you need to know about getting smooth shots and looking groovy while doing it. So if you're tired of using your dumb old feet, hit the link below. Try right here. Just 
just hit the link. Did not, did not work. This car's nice. All right, so. Landon coming out with creativity, man. I did not expect that. Just coming out of nowhere with insane skills on the roller skates. Honestly, really funny. Landon's just a funny dude, and uh, I really like the creativity of not making it about the car, but just making it about something completely irrelevant that's really funny, and just kind of having the car there as a prop. Um, I didn't love the integration. I felt like he could have integrated the car a little bit better to kind of show off some of the things that, you know, some of its driving ability, some of its features. So it was a little bit too focused on being a humorous sketch and not enough on the car. It's a tough balance trying to integrate a product and not make it too in your face, but also show it off enough for the brands like, oh, I really like how you showed it off. So I would have to say though, after watching those three that my favorite was Nate Taylor's. I think he won our category of best influencer integration social media post. Just did the best job of integrating that car, in my opinion. And one thing about Landon's I would have liked to have seen, he had the red, which has the best dynamic range, the best ability to really get awesome shots. And he shot in the middle of the day in not great lighting, didn't really go anywhere cool just to Cinema 6. So I was a little bit disappointed not to see the red really pushed and stretched and, and used in all its capacities and really good light and really cool locations. So funny, creative, liked it landing, but my vote for the best influencer integration is Nate Taylor. Awesome job, Nate. Let's move on now to just the best cinematic sequence to show off how cool the car looks. Here is Jake's cinematic sequence. <laughs> Unlock better. Again, Jake doing a great job at integrating the hashtag, something that brands are always going to love. And again, given that he's shooting this on an iPhone, I was super impressed with the shots he pulled off. A little bit too sun flurry on some of these. The iPhone doesn't do great shooting directly into the sun. Might have been good if you fashioned like a makeshift lens hood to try and block some of that. But again, given the iPhone quality, these shots are awesome, really show off the car really well. Again, I can tell that quality degradation when I'm watching on a 6K display. Those of you watching on a phone probably aren't gonna notice some of the things I notice. So it's gonna look even better for you. But overall, I thought he showed off the car really well, showed it off from multiple angles, showed off how sexy it was in and out, showed it in some cool landscapes, edited together really nicely to make you feel like it's just a good, sexy car. So awesome job, Jake, really enjoyed that one. Let's move on now to Nate on the R5. Here we go. <laughs> Well done, Nate. Again, just some beautiful shots of the car. I like the lighting on this one. Really shows off the uh, curves on the side here, the paneling. Love the close-up of the grill. Show off that detail. The sun flare in the middle. Mmm. Looks like, a, again, a professional. Looks like a shot that you would see in a Hyundai commercial. Really liked that shot right there. Again, sexy shots throughout showing off the car from multiple angles. And I love this. I think he just had a light that he was rotating around it faded it into the awesome back bar. So Nate's got a great eye for this kind of stuff. I uh, really thought he nailed it again with this one. That's a, that's a close one between this and Jake's. I really like both of those. Let's move on now to Landon's cinematic sequence on the red. Here we go. Too bad it worked from home. Ah, oh, what a twist. The hottest driveway accessory of 2021. 
All right, super creative. Uh, integrating some of the features like remote startup and tying it into kind of the situation we find ourselves in, which is this COVID-19 stay at home type thing where everyone's working from home. So again, super creative. Landon, I would say is the most creative guy in our team. Just comes out of left field with ideas that I would never think of. Again, super funny. Definitely wins the funny award on both of his. And a lot of times that's what makes a very memorable video. Isn't necessarily how well it shows up a product, but just did you remember it? And if it's really funny, then sometimes you'll just remember it because hey, that was really creative and I remember how funny that was. So awesome job there. Um, again, I would have loved to have seen the red push to its limits to see what it could pull off in some crazy locations and some great lighting. The red does not do well in low light and this whole thing was in low light. It looked fine, it's a bit grainy. I would have liked to see maybe some moonlight coming in on here or something to light this up a little better. This was kind of flat, dark, bad lighting here. Not great lighting in the bathroom. And then all of his car shots were at night, which again, the red doesn't do great in low light. And so part of the challenge with them having different cameras was knowing how to get the most out of the camera you had. Like Jake had the iPhone and obviously has a ton of limitations, but the red also has limitations. It doesn't do well in low light. So understanding that probably would have been a better decision to shoot some of these in some better lighting situations. So the red could really shine at what it's best at. Now this final shot to me was pristine, beautiful. The lighting is now you know, the morning light is cracking. You have this beautiful blue hour light that's really lighting up the, the car and accentuating all of its curves and, and line designs. Looks really beautiful, but there weren't any other shots where I was just like, oh yeah, this is really pretty and, and memorable other than the fact that it was really funny. That was the memorable part, right? So again, didn't show off the car as much as I wanted to. So this was a tough one. So for the winner of the cinematic sequence, if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Jake's because I thought he showed off the car the best in some of the prettiest lights. So awesome job, Jake, for using that iPhone to its fullest potential and ousting in a lot of ways some of the stuff that the other two guys created on much nicer cameras. But there you have it, guys. That's pretty much it for our adventure using the Hyundai Elantra. Hopefully you enjoyed these awesome pieces of content that. Our our team created. If you'd like to learn how to create cinematic videos just like this, make sure to check out Full Time Filmmaker where we teach you guys how to shoot, edit, and land clients in the video industry. Once again, big thanks to Hyundai for sponsoring this video. Lastly, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you have any further questions, please let us know.